That's me sneaking inside Bohemian Grove. Dude, I'm cooked. I gotta run. An invite-only secret society of American elites who gather in the woods two weeks out of every year to decide the future of the world and conduct human sacrifice rituals in front of a 40-foot owl god named Mola. Or so the rumors say. Many have begun wondering what actually goes down here after famous boxer Ryan Garcia said this. The babies, babies, guys, babies. They're eating babies, literally. And I'm the crazy one. So they're in with these bankers and former presidents. Yes. And, they, and some guy brings over something that it's an effigy that's supposed to be a body. Yeah. And then they drop it on the fire. And they're all worshiping an owl god. But before I sneak into the grove, what do the locals nearby know? Right in front of me, we got the hoot owl. You guys know what that owl is? Uh, well, yeah, that's, that's, no, 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 no. Oh, no? <laughs> no, we're just walking around and talking. I thought you saw it. We can walk away, though. We're just trying to learn what's going on with the owl. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. You don't know. The locals were immediately on guard. You know anything about the Bohemian Grove? I worked there before, yeah. You worked there? Yes. Whoa, what did you see? Uh, a lot of things that I cannot talk about. Actually? Yeah. Would you give us, um, theoretically, what might you have seen if someone were to work there? I cannot talk about that. Did you sign a document? Mm, nope. But I cannot talk about. Did you partake in anything? Have a wonderful day, sir. Okay. Wow. Please be uh, careful, okay? Be careful? Do you think we're dealing with things that are much more powerful? Than well, I can say. What did he see? You know anything about the Bohemian Grove? Yeah, I used to work there like 10, 15 years ago. Oh, I don't want to be on camera. Oh. You know they plan That's the bombing for everybody went to so. either? What was that? I, never mind. Everyone here knew something about the Grove until they saw my little camera. It's probably not a good place to be going unless you know what you're doing. What do you mean? Um, there's a lot of rich, uh, crazy people up there. You are trying to get in? I, my father was in. Oh, he was in the club? Yeah. Who was he? He was Mason. Oh, he was Mason? 39th. Did you inherit his will? His Freemason will? I can't, I can't disclose that. Okay. Is there anything we should know? Mm, probably not. Pro pro you, you don't want to mess with it? Okay. No, I'm done here. All right, all right. Thanks so much for your time. Appreciate you. Sit. What would happen? I don't know. Do you know anything about the Bohemian Grove? I know lots about the Bohemian Grove. Would you like to share? No. Is it, uh, is there some darkness to it? Don't film me. Hit the road. Okay. Yeah, you can't really get up there, though. Can't get in? You seen any crazy things or no? Sometimes. Yeah. I think a lot of naughty naughty goes up there, you know. They just let things go free and let loose. But luckily, I found a nearby crystal store with a lady who claimed to have folded George Bush's underwear when they came to town. You know anything about the Bohemian Grove? Too much. Too much? What do you know? I have actually folded laundry for the Bohemian Grove before when I needed to. So all of their laundry is processed through the laundry mat. Oh, that is around the corner. So I have folded George Bush's sheets for heaven's sakes. Uh, you will start to see a lot of helicopters flying in directly to the property. Um, Bill Clinton's been there, George Bush has been there. It has been rumored that the next president has always decided there before it occurs, but that is a rumor. I have literally had Grovers. Some dude forgot his credit card and handed me his Grove card as collateral. And I'm Whoa. like, Bro. Grove ID. And before the Grove happens, you watch a bunch of limos with high end hookers come in. They're not allowed to bring women back to the facility, but the boys will stay off campus there. The other things that happen is they hit up all of the locals and where they can get drugs every effing year. <laughs> there was a gentleman that I was blessed to serve at Main Street's bar for about six years. He actually lived on the Grove year round. You have to be exceptionally rich. You have to be like vetted in through family. And I believe he spent his dying years there. He was actually one of the really nice dudes. He would come into Main Street three times a week for dinner and drinks. Um, it matters not what you have in life. It is how you treat others. So he was one of those that treated the janitor and the CEO with the same dignity and respect. But not all Grovers are the same. While only elite, wealthy, and famous men are invited, combined with the extreme secrecy and security, this is the only real footage captured inside the event by Alex Jones in the year 2000. Some believe a real human was being burned alive during the ceremony, and others believe these guys were just hammered, goofing around, letting loose, and talking business. And that there's nothing demonic or satanic going on here. You think they're all fornicating with one another? Would not surprise me. Yeah. <laughs>
That's where all the big wigs hang out. Okay. That's where they party. What big wigs are we talking? Everybody. White House people. <laughs> you ever been invited? Uh, no. Would you go if you were? I have go. Oh, yeah, I would. See, last time uh, was, uh, what's his name, running for president? Al Gore. Okay. He, uh, he came through with his, his crowd, you know, black SUVs and all that stuff, and uh, invited him in for a cocktail, but he refused that one. <laughs> but they were on their way to the Grove at the time. Do you think you all fornicate with one another? Well, I know they do. You have proof? No. <laughs> they have some rituals and stuff, and you have to, like, pay a large fee to be part of them. All the weird stuff, I think, happens out at that Bohemian. I really don't know, except for just hearing stories but who knows who knows what goes on out there man i don't i'd rather not know <laughs> do you think they're engaging in any wizardry or druid craft i, I, I do I, I believe that there's some ma something magical uh, you know spiritual or something out there but uh the bohemian man it's just uh it's uh, a bunch of mystery that's what i think i know some powerful men in the you know in this world world leaders that go there i know that much you seen anything interesting about the bohemian grove since you've been here wow there uh, you know there's been a lot of political protests and that sort of thing but i i don't really uh, know much about that are you sure <laughs> it turns out not everyone feels too comfortable with the idea of a group of elites meeting in the secrecy of the woods to decide the fate of the rest of the country. The workers at Bohemian Grove are suing the elite club for wage theft. In fact, one worker described members as obscenely wealthy with private jets, multi-million dollar cars, $200,000 watches, homes on the beach in Malibu. They said that they would have to perform tasks that were beyond their job duties, including such as one instance where a billionaire member forgot to bring underwear to the camp and the valets were asked to hand wash it. I remember when I was a child, my mom used to protest. Really? Yeah. What was she protesting, them coming here? It, it, white men of privilege living exclusive lifestyles. Okay. Not sharing the wealth. As I walked into a bookstore where the owner assured me he handpicked every book, something about this town felt off. Like, you can't go to Bohemian. Sure. To the Bohemian Club. Oh, I see, okay. Yeah. Like, there's security and fences. And, and yeah. they don't stay here. No, they stay there. It's super interesting. I mean, and you can find a lot of stuff online. There's not a lot of published stuff about it because they're really secret. We've tried to go onto the grounds and they've told us to leave. Ooh, you think if we tried again, we'd get in? I try, try. Yeah? Yeah, try. Hey there. Y'all know anything about the Bohemian Grove? You can't go there. Can't go there? Okay, you ever see them come through here? No, not really. No? No, these guys are pretty secretive. All right. You try to get in there and get caught, bye-bye. I'm dead? <laughs> it's very possible. They got security left and right there. All right, well, pray for me. See ya. You think they'll let me in? Nope. You won't even get to the front gate, my friend. Not even a parking lot. They're that strict. So I headed down towards the nearby river to scout out a potential entryway via water. Bohemian Grove is all the way over those trees. The current looks fast. We're looking to find an owl out here. Um, I do know if you go down that road and take a left, if you keep going, there's like a barricade. It's like a weird fence. It almost looks like a bunch of metal wrapped around it and everything. It's really weird. Creepy? Kind of creepy. Almost like a Resident Evil kind of vibe. Ooh. You know anything I should know about it? No, nah, not really, other than it's highly sec like security's always on patrol with them. Oh, we get people coming in for Bohemian and everything, and you can just tell about the cars and all that stuff, so. Lamborghinis or like SUVs? A little bit of both. If you to see a Grove member, would you be able to recognize one? Sometimes, like in the summer when they're there, because they have like certain, like, uh, they, they, what is it, that all white uh, thing sometimes. They wear like all white garb? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but not, not always. That's a little bit spooky. I know there's a bunch of hookers that can stay over here while they're here. Are they hot? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, but they charge way too much. Oh, you've asked their price? Uh, no. Uh, I'm Be just, honest with me. I'm just, uh, <laughs> I'm taking a day worth of bullshit to begin with. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't <laughs> I don't think so. Half of them know what they're doing. They're around with, really. <laughs> okay. But I mean, you know. Mine looks like an ancient Sumerian god, and I'm sure you've seen this shit. We saw an owl driving in here, too, on that little lodge. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, with, I mean, it's somehow related to it, but there's a lot of owls around here, too. <laughs> what is Moloch? What's, like, the simplified version of it? As far as I know, Moloch was uh, some sort of uh, Semitic god. I know they sacrificed uh, children to him and stuff. The only one that we know about, the, the big ritual there, is they have that big owl statue, and they burn a child in effigy for the, what is it, the cremation of care. Yeah, yeah. Think they're burning kids out there? 
I think they have possibly in the past. Well, I've been back there before when I worked. Really? Yeah, I worked for a septic tank company. It's like the rich guys kind of private hideaway. So it's like the old rich men, they want to act like they're Boy Scouts again. But uh, I mean, the guards are dicks. So. They're dicks? Yeah. They you, won't let like, us in? You try to like record them, they'll be like, they'll try to grab the camera. They'll be like, oh, f you guys. They'll, Actually? Oh, yeah. yeah. They, they get pissed. They don't play around. Really? Yeah. Do you think to go back there's a little kid and they'd f***ing come after us? Like when I was like 10 years old, you could just like just crawl under a barbed wire fence. Cause you know, like up front, it's not that. It's sure. not like a prison or anything. It's not crazy, but uh, they'd get pissed for sure. There's a lot of rumors. I don't know what's true and what's not. I've never been there. Just take a left and keep going then. When they stop you, then they go in the jail. After learning as much as I could from the locals and waiting until the cover of the night, it was now time to see if I could infiltrate the grove using an inflatable kayak I bought off Amazon, avoid security, and make my way to the 40-foot tall owl statue undetected. Alright, it is 12-12. Let's see if she floats. Yeah, she's jump in, right? it all the way up. It's like sinking immediately. Okay, I'll give it a shot. The only problem was the moment I got in this kayak. I don't know if it's gonna float, dude. It filled up halfway with river water, soaking me entirely, and the current was so fast I was getting pulled downstream and had no chance of paddling up shore where I needed to go. I'm sinking. I'm getting swept out. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. The current's too strong, dude. I saw just walking up. No, dude, I'm cooked. Did you make it across? No, dude. I'm getting sucked in. I'm fighting for surviving right now, dude. I don't know where this leads. Got a branch. We're in the clear. I'm alive. Can you just get out? Dude, the current is fucking ridiculous. I'm halfway soaked in water right now. I'm definitely gonna get hypothermia. I mean, the closest the, like exit exit point, it's gotta just be up and through the woods essentially. Yeah, I'm fine. Branches are breaking something that looks climbable. I'm gonna try to get out. Hey, I made it ashore. I'm just trying to climb up a hill and get out of here. Kayak is gone. I'm fighting for survival. After yanking myself out of the river and crawling my way through someone's backyard, I barely made it back to land, my kayak was swallowed by the river, and I had to think of another way to get in the grove before sunrise. We need to re-strategize the game plan right now because I don't see any feasible way of going against the current all the way across there. I don't think it's possible. I thought I was going to end up in Russia at the end of this river. I'm scared. Let's go. We need to re-strategize. I failed to get in through the Russian River via kayak, so now we're just gonna bull rush straight through the mountains, jump over any fences if I see them, and hopefully not get caught. It's 2 a.m., we're running out of time before the sun rises. It's time to get this done. Cheers. With five hours until sunrise, the plan was now to hike up the woods right to the left of the main entrance, stealth hike around the security through the mountains until I made it to the owl. Uh, fuck. <laughs> this is a curse. This is a cursed backup plan. No, no, we've no. we've paved a random mountain road. I'm thinking this is probably the plan we should have done from the start. You might be right. The kayak was a death sentence out there. I'm surprised I didn't die or drown. The water was cold. I was full of water. Blake is legit gonna drop me off. I'm gonna rush into the mountains mm -hmm. with no light, just straight up. Ah. For legal reasons, this is all generated by AI. I'm a little bit shell-shocked from that last experience, and I am afraid of how this plays out. I do not want to go to jail. <sighs> that would suck. Here into the woods and go up the mountain. You might be in someone's backyard. A light might turn on like a, you know, motion detecting light. Sure. Just power through it, go up the hill until you're in the darkness. Right there. Right there. Go up, go straight. Up the mountain from here. As I'm crouch hiking in pure darkness for two hours straight, I make it to this point on the map, and on my life, I hear what sounds like human feet crunching leaves in front of me, and... <sighs> so, just to double check, I wait in silence for 10 minutes. I hear nothing. I move 10 steps to my right. I stop. I listen. 
I hear the same sound of footsteps crushing through the brush and what sounds like a person going, At this point, I'm afraid for my life. So I run down the hill and decide to bum rush the main gate and see if I can sprint my way to the owl without getting caught by security. Scared out of my mind, I ran as far as I could to Blake in the getaway car, and we sped back to our hotel to think of a final strategy to get into Bohemian Grove before sunrise. Let's go. I met with the Chihuahua and I guess put your hands up. Actually? <laughs> two hours until sunrise, I drove back to the hotel, drank a Red Bull, and decided I would have to try one last time. Right there. That's where you go. Yeah, I'm going in. All right, brother, pray for me. a.m. when I jumped the gate this time the guards must have been asleep or taking a dump because no one saw me and I ran into the cover of the darkness towards the owl making sure to turn my flashlight off to remain undetected Just gotta hop the gate and get out he's close he's so close Just drove by. As I planked on the ground, waiting for it to drive past me, he whips the car to the left, shining the light straight onto me, and I run. We gotta go. Curious, me. You just come on a little bit further, buddy. Die. Get out of there. Sorry. Hi, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you for sparing me. Goodbye. Sorry. I'm sorry. Drive. Drive. Holy shit. Woo. Didn't quite make it to the owl. I think I was on my ass. I made it to the cathedral thing. I saw him pull in. He went off road. I was like, fuck, he's not messing around. So I sped out of there. I made it out a lot. Please don't sue me, we were just curious, I apologize. But you had to let us satisfy that curiosity. While I risked my life to get a mere glimpse into the secret world of the powerful elite, <laughs> and decide on how us peasants shall live, just know that whatever happens, I would never kill myself. Also, whoever has the most viewed TikTok or YouTube short using a clip from this video, I'll send you $500. Post however many times you want, but you must tag my TikTok slash YouTube at and put YouTube Tyler Oliveira in the title slash description.